On October 8, 2013, the Supreme Court will hear oral argument in the case of McCutcheon versus Federal Elections Commission. This is the first major campaign finance case the Supreme Court has taken on since it's decided its controversial Citizens United case in 2010. To provide a little context for McCutcheon, however, I want to go back to the 1970s to a case called Buckley v. Vallejo, which is essentially the granddaddy of modern campaign finance case law. Buckley v. Vallejo said a number of things. One thing it said is that the First Amendment does not allow Congress or the states to limit the expenditures uh, made by candidates or uh, on, on their own behalf. So there can be no limits on how much a candidate spends on, for example, TV ads, or even how much a candidate spends of his or her own personal money. But Buckley v. Vallejo said there can be limits on contributions. It's okay for Congress and the states to impose some reasonable limitation on how much any one individual can give to any one particular candidate. Current campaign finance law provides that an individual can give up to $2,600 to a federal candidate per election cycle. That includes, that's both primaries and general elections, so for possibly a total of $5,200. Federal election law doesn't say how many candidates an individual can donate to, or for that matter, how many campaign committees, such as the Democratic National Congressional Committee or the Republican National Senat Senatorial Committee. Uh, but it does impose an overall aggregate limit on how much well, any one individual can give during a two-year period. It's just over $48,000 total in uh, gifts to uh, candidates and over $70,000 for, for uh, donations to campaign committees for a total of over $123,000 overall limit. And that's the limit that's being challenged in McCutcheon. The, the plaintiff in McCutcheon says, I'd like to give more money to, than, to a variety of different candidates and committees, and the law is not allowing me to do this. That violates my First Amendment rights. A few words about some of the arguments. First, this is actually not a Citizens United case in the sense that Citizens United addressed a completely different question. In Citizens United, the question was what kind of limitations could be placed on the expenditures, independent expenditures, of corporate corporations during an election cycle. There's no ar argument in this particular case, McCutcheon, about independent expenditures. This is an argument about donations directly to candidates and campaign committees. However, the, the Citizens United Court did say that the only legitimate interest that Congress has in regulating campaign finance is preventing what's called quid pro quo corruption. That is, preventing somebody from giving money to a candidate in the expectation that the candidate will vote a particular way on a particular issue um, or, and also regulating the appearance of that kind of corruption. So one of the arguments that Mr. McCutcheon is making is that the overall limit on what he can donate has nothing to do with quid pro quo co corruption. He says that concern is met with the individual caps on campaign committees and on candidates. On the other side, uh, campaign finance a uh, advocates argue that the it is too easy for candidates and campaign committees to pass money between them, and in fact, it's not heavily regulated. So uh, by lifting this overall cap through a wink and a nod, it might be possible for somebody to give unlimited amounts of money, essentially, to a particular candidate or to a particular uh, campaign committee and evade the, the individualized limits in the law. That's what the Supreme Court will be deciding on October 8th. They could go as far as to say that expenditure limits, the, uh, excuse me, that contribution limits are themselves unconstitutional, overruling that aspect of Buckley v. Vallejo, that they, but they certainly don't have to go that far. They can limit themselves simply to answering the question brought by Mr. McCutcheon, which is, are these overall caps on total exp uh, contributions unconstitutional?